Welcome to The Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, not so local music, and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review The Quiet Ones, the new five song EP from new friend of the channel, Bright Kelly. Bright Kelly and I recently just did my first ever live TikTok interview. It was fun, if a bit challenging, and you should check it out when you're done watching this video. Now then, let's go judge a songwriter on their innermost thoughts. This video is brought to you by Backblaze. We'll hear more about them later. But for now, let's get on to today's video. I first met Bright Kelly as Mutuals on TikTok, and having just done an interview with him, I can tell this EP will be full of songwriting straight out of his personal history. Speaking of which, if you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down in the description or click on the Room 6 social media link. That's also where you'll find ways to support the channel and, you know, while you're down there, feel free to help me grow the channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thanks! The album kicks off with Shake Till the Fever is Gone, a powerfully emotive tune that is my personal favorite. Combining a beautiful melody with incredibly evocative lyrics, this track tells of a love lost and the memories associated with it. The listener can't help but reminisce when hearing lyrics like, Longing looks back through a sepia lens to nights at the barcade with all of our friends. You held my hand walking back on the 4th of July. The next track picks up the pace a little with the provocatively titled Apocalypse Driving. With a rapid fire lyric delivery and danceable guitar chords, I was instantly reminded of Savage Garden's song Cherry Cola. Whereas the first song on the album is one of love lost, this is all about grabbing your loved one's hand and hitting the road to forget about life for a while. With lyrics like, man, I just need an alibi so I can call off work. Hey, I just had a great idea. You and me get in the car and we'll just keep driving. This one should be on everyone's road trip playlist as you escape the end of the world. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Making YouTube videos can be a little resource intensive. It seems like hardly a week goes by that I don't have my computer yelling at me about running out of space. Fortunately, I've got Backblaze. Whether you need to free up space on your hard drive or want to be able to retrieve something while on the go, Backblaze offers peace of mind for just $7 a month. They offer unlimited computer backups, which you can have access to anywhere with an internet connection. That's safe and encrypted. You can even restore old versions of files from up to 30 days ago. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a 15-day free trial. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Backblaze for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Song number three is Phantom Heart, a track that's brimming with romance and emo vibes at the same time. Featuring Liv Reichley on backing vocals, Brian DiBiagio on guitars and bass, and Brian Fitzgerald on violin, this radio-friendly love song has added depth that had me questioning the last time I danced with my wife in the middle of a department store just because we could. The longest song on the album, there's an obvious attention to the songwriting here with lyrics like, not all lovers start as neighbors and the girl next door is not what I'm looking for. So be bad as you're able. I'll still look to you in hope and I can't seem to let go. Stripping things down a little is Lucas Get Up, which also strips back any veneers Bright Kelly had previously put up. A message to his childhood self, this song seeks to answer the question of, if you had the chance, what would you say to your younger self? Featuring just his voice and his guitar, with a little help from a piano, there's a refreshing starkness to this track that tugs at the nostalgia centers of the brain for those of us who grew up feeling less than popular. Lyrics like, Lucas be calm, focus on your breathing. Lucas be strong, find a way to keep it in. Get on your feet, forgive even if you don't forget. Drive home the message that if you don't get up, nothing happens. Which honestly, is a great mental health message too. Finishing things out is I wish you the best. Another tune about a lost love, but with a different message than you might expect. Staccato strings and Bright Kelly's dusky voice introduce the audience to this tale as lyrics like, You always drove a little too fast, always laughed a little too loud, always hogged the light and the air, but a hungry fire always burns out. Make it obvious the relationship is over, but the love continues on. Joining the strings are Brian's violin from the previous track, only this time there's a little more country western feel to it. Somehow, this song is equal parts sad, romantic, noble, and hopeful all at the same time. It's a perfect way to finish out this collection of songs that will touch your heart and mind. Overall, The Quiet Ones by Bright Kelly is an amazing songwriting tour de force that blends love songs with emo sensibilities in an honest and raw way that every music lover should own. 
check it out. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you will click the link down in the description to get your own copy of The Quiet Ones by Bright Kelly. It's honestly, it's an amazing album. I only wish there were more songs. Uh, in the meantime, like I said, if you want to be on the channel, hit me up down in the description. If you uh, want to, you know, see more videos like this, click up here. If you'd like to hear my own music, which is not nearly as good as Bright Kelly's, click over here. And if you want to subscribe, I'd really appreciate you. Click up there. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when new things pop. Uh, in the meantime, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.